Welcome back to ServiceWorks Tutorials. My name is Will Freeman. Today I'll be showing you the process of purchase order completion in our jobs form. So to make a new job, we go to Add New. We click New Job. We fill in our customer's information. ServiceWorks has a great auto-populating feature where you type in the first name and it gives you this list of all your customers with that name and it fills out all the relevant details you need. So we've got Willy Wonka, we've got his address. Let's type in a job description, purchase, order, demo. Let's add a service item for labor. Let's say we'll be there for three hours. So it'd be $600 at $200 an hour. Nice rate. Okay, let's see, let's type in, and now we'll type in the item that we'll be purchasing through the purchase order. So you don't have to know your item number, anything you have uh, in the inventory in the software can be searched by product name. So we're gonna click on this belt. We're going to ask for five of these belts. And then here comes the all important moment. So we've got this create PO purchase order line right here. You check that box. What's going to happen is, is once we save the job, we're going to be sent off into a purchase order completion page. So you've checked the box. Let's schedule this job for today. We said we'll be there for three hours. We'll assign a professional to this job. Let's say our good friend Charles would like to complete this job. All right, now we're going to save the job and we're going to be sent off into the purchase order completion page. So we created the job successfully. Here's the job number. When I press OK, it's going to magically send us to complete this purchase order. So here's all the information we just filled out, five of these belts at 3364 a unit. And we've got five of them. So the total cost is 168.20. The only thing you have to do on this page is fill in where the purchase order is going to be delivered. So here's the delivery site option. This is totally customizable for your company. Um, any sort of warehouse or inventory storage location or just receiving address you have can be put right here. But instead of that, we're just going to ship it straight to the customer. So we're going to click right there and it fills in all of Mr. Wonka's information. We're going to press save. Here's the PDF form of the invoice, but we're going to go back We're going to click this sent us to the purchase order page just by clicking save. So this is oops. This is the purchase order we just created. What we have to do now is we have to submit the order. So we just saved it. So as you can see, the status right here is pending. We're gonna go into edit again. And right down, right down here, you can see it says submit. Right next to save. We're gonna submit the purchase order. And now we'll be able to see this green check mark. The green check mark in indicates to you that the purchase order has been submitted. So now I want to show you here's the receive purchase order page. We're going to look at the purchase order we just created and we'll see that its status is pending. Okay, so that means you, you know it's still in the mail, you haven't gotten it yet. You, you haven't indicated if they shipped you the right thing. 
if you got all the parts, it's pending. So now we're gonna go back to the purchase order page. And once you hit submit, a new button is created over here that lets called receive that lets you indicate receipt of the order. So you click here and you can write, okay, we got four of them perfectly, but well, one of them was damaged. So you press receive, item has been received. This is gonna send us to the receive purchase order page and it'll indicate to us rather than the status being pending, the status is partially received because we got four of them, but one of them was damaged. So that's the, pro it would say received if we got five out of five without any of them being damaged. So that's the process of purchase order creation in Serviceworks. Thanks for listening and have a great day.